Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on the Flash film and some uh, interesting comments, shall we say. So we are really on that final stretch now until the Flash movie comes out. Here in Australia, it's out in less than a week from now. Oh, less than two weeks from now. Sorry, I'm not time traveling. Less than two weeks from now. The day I'm recording this, it's exactly two weeks away, but by the time this comes out, just under two weeks away. Actually, from today, when this video comes out, it's probably exactly two weeks until it's out in America. So... A lot of excitement building. This is one of the biggest movies of the year. For Warner Brothers, it's probably the biggest movie of the year, at least in regards to what they expect box office-wise. And there has been a lot of press, uh, not press screenings, like fan screenings and some press screenings, but mainly fan screenings in regards to what's being pushed out there and you know what people are seeing and everything like that. I mean, it's to the point now where I feel like every man and their goddamn dog has seen this goddamn film uh, before it's even come out. And there's even like a bunch of other... I think fan screenings this weekend as well. So even more people are going to see it. Uh, who else is going to be left to even buy tickets? I know, we'll have to wait and see. But of course, despite all the, you know, glowing praise for the film from those who have seen it, including myself, I saw it about almost three weeks ago from this point now. I love the movie. Can't wait to see it again whenever that opportunity arises. But even the fans that are going to see it are loving the film as well. It's all overwhelmingly positive in regards to what is on screen, what Andy Musietti made and everything like that and what you get to see. It's awesome. But one thing that has really plagued the film for a while now, but especially amongst all this praise that's coming out in regards to what the film actually is, is the Ezra Miller stuff. Now, of course, we're not going to get into any like semantics and like breaking down and opinions in regards to what side you lie on when it comes to the Ezra Miller situation, whether you believe the allegations or you're against them. It's Twitter's crazy because of it. So I'm not even going to touch upon that and, and like sort of lay my land in regards to where I lie. But that's a big issue around it. And one of the big issues around the Ezra Miller stuff is that it seems that on the, I guess, the Hollywood side of it, they're not going along with Ezra as an actor anymore. I mean, Ezra's considered going to be like a very hard person to ensure for further films. And that, you know, the word further film would suggest also maybe a sequel for the Flash film. And look, it seems with James Gunn's reboot, maybe there won't be a sequel to this. But I mean, the movie's damn good. So maybe James Gunn might use it. It's, it's hard to know. But Andy Muschietti and Byron Muschietti did actually, you know, touch upon a potential sequel to, uh, for this film very recently. But in doing so, also potentially shaded every other interpretation of The Flash and maybe one that just wrapped up after a 10 year journey, which didn't have people online too happy. So in an upcoming episode of The Discourse podcast, Andy Muschietti and his producing partner and also his sister, Barbara Muschietti, raved about Ezra Miller's performance as Barry Allen in The Flash. In fact, when asked about this whole sequel situation and, you know, whether Ezra could actually be replaced in this potential sequel, considering all the issues the actor has experienced in their personal life, Andy Muschietti actually feels as if there isn't actually anyone else who can take over the role or do a better job. Therefore, if a sequel is made and the Muschietti's are involved, Ezra Miller will start in this movie. So this is what Andy Muschietti had to say specifically. If a sequel happens, yes. I don't think there's anyone that can play that character as well as they did. The other depictions of the character are great, but this particular vision of the character, they just excelled in doing it. And as you said, the two Barrys, it feels like a character that was made for them. Now, the first thing I thought when I heard this or read this was like, well, this sort of suggests that there won't be a sequel because I don't know if Ezra Miller is going to be returning to the role of Barry Allen. Now, interesting statement. We will come back to it and reference it, but Barbara Muschietti had this to say and added onto it. In principal photography, Ezra was brilliant and the most committed and the most professional actor. Ezra gave everything, everything for this role physically, creatively, emotionally. They were absolutely supreme. Now, in regards to that last bit, I'm not going to comment on that. I wasn't there, but Ezra in the movie is really good. Ezra does a really good job from beginning to end, is the, the person who carries this film. There's no doubt about that. I think if anyone says that's not the case, they are lying. Ezra carries it from beginning right to the end. And I think that is what Andy Muschietti actually means when he's talking about this. I don't think he, like, Andy Muschietti is actually sitting there and going, Ezra is definitely the only one that could play this character. And when you watch the film, this isn't spoiling anything. So definitely, I don't have to put a spoiler alert thing on screen. We're not touching on that. But the film is a Flash film. It is, you know, the Flash is the main character. But in regards to a Flash film... It's not purely a flash film. It's a multiversal sort of like time travel film. And we like we everyone knows that Ezra Miller is miscast. Like Ezra Miller is a miscast for the role of Barry Allen. Everyone that knows who Barry Allen knows this. It's it's not a surprise. Like it's not a shock. Like everyone knows that. So to say Ezra Miller is the only one that can play Barry Allen, aka the Flash, is a load of ass because he's a miscast anyway. So 
<laughs> it's, it's, it's a silly statement to make. But I think most Flash fans that have watched media would agree that Grant Gustin's version is clearly the better version. A lot would argue that have watched enough of the character would argue that John Wesley Shipp's version is maybe even better as well. But in regards to a interpretation of Barry Allen, it's probably one of the weaker ones just because it's a miscast. And also the film, though it's a Flashpoint story and definitely revolves around Barry Allen's past, it's also like split up because you have an alternate version of Barry in the film, which once again, isn't a spoiler. It's in the film. You have the young Barry or the different Barry uh, that our main Barry meets throughout the film. So yeah, it was a weird statement and I don't think it has helped. I feel like the Flash movie was in a perfect position about two weeks ago with some of these early screenings, like the one I was able to go to CinemaCon and some of those really early fan screenings, a lot of the hype there. I feel like the Muschietti's maybe are talking a bit too much. I feel like they might be better. I know you have to, they have to promote the movie. So maybe you could argue maybe like they're, ha- they're being handed questions, which are setting them up to give a answer that's going to make people angry. It's, it's hard to tell, but I feel like some of the answers I've seen um, aren't necessarily like making people want to support the film. If, and, and it's not saying like it's in like a massively negative way, but it is causing a lot of uproar on Twitter. And I know, yes, it's Twitter, like seriously re- using that as a reference point, but it's important. Twitter can influence people. Like th- that's a very well-known fact, uh, especially people that are on edge in regards to whether they do or don't do something. So I don't know. It's things like this, which make me go, oh, don't say that. Just let people judge for themselves whether Ezra's a good Barry. And or the Barry that should, you know, be continuing on. Let other people just say that. Don't say, don't you be the one that says this is the definitive one. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's still two weeks to come out. Who knows what's going to happen next? It's a wait and see. And one thing I actually do want to include just in regards to that, there's actually, and this isn't a spoiler, once again, no need to go spoil it, none of that. But there is a specific moment in the movie, which is similar to something from the show. I'm not going to say what it is. You might think you know what it is, but it might be wrong. But it's something very similar, and I can tell you, I'm gonna. You might go page you're biased. I'm not. I'm a Flash fan in general. I like Ezra's take on what he does, in, or what they do in this film as well. So I'm trying to come in from it, trying to attack it. Sorry, as unbiased as possible. But there is a moment in this movie that is very similar to something from the show in one of the seasons that Grant does much, much better. So if you wanted to use a reference point for something similar to decide maybe who was better. I can tell you that Grant does a better job of it in one of the seasons of the show. I won't say which season it was in particular, but you'll know when you watch the movie. So keep your eyes out. But to finish off the video, it's another thing around this movie. And actually sort of, you know, funnily enough, this movie is about time travel. We're going to time travel back about a year. So in August of 2022, the executives at Warner Brothers were deciding what to do about the Flash movie in light of all the different things that were coming up about Ezra Miller. That was like peak drama, like the Hawaii stuff had happened and then all that other stuff that uh, Ezra was being accused of. This was like the height of it from memory. I think this was around the time they were close to canceling Batgirl as well. So there was a lot of talk about what was going to happen with the Flash film as well. And according to reports at the time, at the very least, one option that Warner Brothers, you know, the leadership there had been considering was a last resort move that would have seen the movie shelved entirely, which is like what happened to Batgirl would have been put there. No one would have seen the movie ever. Yeah, just would have been lost, lost in the archives. But Barbara Muschietti, the producer and sister of the director, Andy Muschietti, was actually asked about this and said, no, not at all. That was never real. Which, to be completely honest, I probably agree with because the movie cost too goddamn much. There was no way this movie is looking like it cost like 220, 250 million. There's no way they were going to shelve this movie. It was always seen the light of day. Ezra, I think, could have done whatever, whatever, and they probably still would have. Well, maybe not whatever, but like could probably have done or been accused of doing far worse and they probably still would have put the movie out there. Um, And their excuse was, well, the Flash wears a cow, so you can't tell it's Ezra Miller. That's probably what they would have done. So, uh, yeah, I think that was, I I think at the time we thought that was probably a load of ass, but it's good that someone associated with the movie has actually come out and said that like, yeah, that was never going to happen. But Andy Muschietti actually added on to this and actually gave a bit of an update in regards to what's happening with Ezra, because a lot of us are curious, is Ezra going to be showing up at the premiere, which should be in about, I'd say, a week and a half from now? Is Ezra going to be showing up to uh, what you'd assume is a red carpet? I mean, it's the Flash, so hopefully it's a red carpet, maybe some little lightning bolts on it, I don't know. But is Ezra going to be showing up there? Well, this is an update from Andy Muschietti. We have a lot of empathy in general for people who need help and especially in mental health issues. That's why uh, Ezra is taking the necessary steps to deal with their recovery and we support them in that. So I 
I don't know if we're going to get anything in regards to this and anything that's really revolved around like Ezra and updates. It's pretty much been a statement like this. It's like they have like a PR sort of a Warner Brothers team saying like, hey, if you're asked about Ezra, give this. The only one that was a bit different was James Gunn on that, uh, like the premiere, like the, I know, I guess maybe a red carpet or whatever, the premiere event for Guardians of the Galaxy a few weeks ago when he was asked about it. And he gave like a bit of like a, oh, I'm not ready response. And his response was like, oh, well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens in regards to Ezra Miller. And he looked really awkward answering the question. So a lot of the answers have been very similar to this, like, you know, Ezra seeking mental health uh, therapy and, you know, just taking time for themselves and everything like that, which is fair enough. Um, but there's been nothing else outside of that. So I don't know if we'll get a surprise appearance from Ezra at the premiere. I mean, if that was going to, if there was a place that that was going to happen, I mean, just a surprise appearance that you think about the premiere, but that's a wait and see. Maybe might get an update from that point forward, but we'll wait and see. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. You could drop a like on it, show support. Let me know in the comments. Ezra Miller, Grant Gustin, who's your favorite? Let me know. And of course, if you are new to the, uh, new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.